uh, about oh six or seven years ago I had a life change event <laughs> where I needed to uh, sell all my belongings and put everything else in storage and I didn't want to pay storage fees so some friends of mine lived down the street they said if uh, if I built a cabin that looked nice enough that I could put it in their yard so I had to paint it to match their house and uh, yeah so I built a 12 by 16 shed on four by six skids and stored all my stuff in it. I ended up getting uh, married about uh, three years ago to my beautiful wife Marcel and her and I built a house and we love our house but we ended up using it for nightly rentals in the summertime in Seward here which is a pretty popular thing. We were blown away by how the nightly rental market is here so we ended up renting our house out for the summer and so we needed a place to stay when we would come here on the weekends to work on the property and then we have our little tiny house here so now we stay in the house every summer when we rent out our house for nightly rentals and so we don't necessarily live tiny all year but it is really nice to live tiny part of the year because before we move back in here every year we get to go through all of our stuff decide all the stuff that we haven't really touched for the year get rid of a bunch of clothes that we haven't worn all year and move into our little house. My name is Rodney Rimmick and this is my tiny house in uh, Seward, Alaska, right outside of Seward, about mile seven. So uh, in a subdivision called uh, Cuesta Woods. Uh, I'd like to show you around, come check it out. Well, uh, this is it. We'll see the outside in a little while, but it's a 12 by 16 with a loft that you'll see. Uh, originally built as a shed at my friend's house and we moved it with a loader over here about four or five years ago uh, when I needed a place to live while I rented the house out for the for the summer so I turned the shed into this house and uh, yeah it's pretty small but it has everything we need this is the living room area I know it's a tiny house but I don't like tiny TVs so I got a 42 inch TV and a nice little uh, two seat recliner that I can sit down kind of eat and uh, and watch TV. Eventually, I think I'm going to make one of the fold-down tables that I see a lot of people making in their small houses. As I said, it's uh, 12 by 16, so it's pretty small, so it doesn't take too much to heat. So I just have a little electric uh, heater. You know, the light comes on, makes it look like a fire, and it, it does well. I mean, up here in Alaska, it gets, you know, below freezing all the time, all the winter. So about the coldest we get is zero for a week or two, and it does pretty good. Have to leave it on overnight, but yeah. So this is a living room area, and. Uh, as you can see, there's some art. My wife uh, paints pictures. Her, her, her Facebook is Artworks by Marcel, so you can check those out. She does a lot of topical or uh, topographic charts, I think they're called, or, or nautical charts. So, um, As you can see throughout the house, we ended up going with this uh, pine tongue and groove, and a lot of it was just because I knew I was going to move it from down the street when I was done building it. And I didn't want to do sheetrock where I knew something would crack and all the seams would crack. So we went ahead and did the pine tongue groove. It costs a little more, but I would never do anything but it. It is awesome. It, oh, three years later, smells like pine. Every time you come in, everybody comments on it. And then uh, I didn't want to just put wood trim on wood walls. So we ended up getting this uh, some rope line, try to make a little nautical look. So I really liked the way it came out. So this is the other side of the living room and at first we didn't really know what to do with it We just kind of threw our suitcases or my piles of clothes and then we ended up putting a bench And then my wife uh, had an idea to put the coat coat hanger up there So it's really very very functional and for my wife and I it's perfect size Obviously, I've got a lot more clothes right here now because um, she hasn't put her stuff in here yet for the summer but um, it's probably the perfect size for two people and one thing about living in a tiny house every so often you get to go through all your stuff so you get to go through your clothes and get out what you don't use and uh, try to keep what you do use and yes i do use this shirt sometimes so i will be keeping it but uh yeah i wouldn't change much about this space at all other than i wish there was a way to nicely kind of cover it up but then again it's not like i really have that many guests over here so it's just my wife and i that see it so and I don't know if you can see the shelf there. As I said, we built it as a shed. And so I just put a shelf up here to make it, to put some rubber maids and things on it. Now that I've turned it into a house, it is the one spot that's kind of a weird area in the house and that I don't really know what to do with it. Um, I don't really want to put anything up there because it's hard to get to. Well, going uh, the other direction into the kitchen and bathroom area and, and the ladder up to the loft. The ladder is a bit steep, but I looked at all the different ways that people are doing the ladders and the pull downs, the attic ladders and different things. And I just, we just went with this and it's very sturdy. It is steep. So, you know, 
I tell Marcel, we go down it really slow in the morning, especially when you wake up and your coin are not all there. You just want to make sure and go down it really slow in the morning. But other than that, it's steep, but it works great. Very sturdy, like I said, and it, and it takes up a lot less space just being that steep. This is our kitchen area. And again, it's tiny, but it has everything a normal kitchen would have. A uh, four burner stove, electric. It's the smaller stove. I think it's 24 inches. Uh, and, the, and smaller than the standard stove, but it is a four burner electric stove. Obviously got the microwave with the vent underneath all plumbed in. So whenever time you cook, all it vents outside. A full size sink and Keurig, toaster, all that good stuff. And then not quite a full size refrigerator, but definitely not a mini. I think it's 32 inches wide, something like that. It is a weird shape. I, I had this fridge and so I made the space for it. Now I'd like to up, get a nicer fridge, but it's really hard to find that exact size. So I'm sure when you guys are deciding which fridge to use, they have the really tiny ones or the standards and all, everything in the middle is such a weird shape. It's hard to replace, but you can see that the uh, cabinets don't match. That's because I'm on a low budget and uh, some people in town were selling these cabinets from a remodel they did. I think I got them for 50 bucks. And then in the back of Lowe's and Home Depot, you can always get the dinged. And so both of these ca uh, cabinets were missing a hinge. And so they were all discounted. So I fixed those, but obviously they don't match. And then just a standard um, Lowe's countertop that you can get in the pre-made. I really like it. It's very, very functional. Like I say, oh, here's, here's that hot water heater I was talking about or the water heater. You don't need to heat hot water. 17 gallons. I think it's enough for two short showers or one long shower and it takes about 30 minutes to heat back up. So very functional, like I say. Um, and you can see on the floor, we put the, uh, before we did anything, we put this vinyl down on the whole area, the whole cabin. And then I just got a remnant for the for the living room because I liked carpet more, but if we ever pull it up, it would just be all this underneath. It kind of just helps seal it and insulate it as well. So the bathroom is kind of small. You can hear the fan come on anytime the lights on at vents because I don't want the, all the humidity to get in the house, but um, it is a kind of a small bathroom. I believe it's um, four by six. Yeah, four by six. So it's got a couple of shelves behind the door that I don't think you'll be able to get to. Maybe you can see them, but and then a, uh, a mirror, the, a medicine cabinet with a mirror and a toilet. And then I don't like little showers. So I didn't get a full size, but I got the mid size. So uh, you don't feel very cramped and I, I would never get that small, tiny, shower that they have that you can't move so it's really nice um, as again functional two people can shower in it um, but it works great great for what we use and uh, just have to wash you know you use the sink out in the, in the kitchen to wash your hands when you're done so that's the only thing it's missing is a sink in here and I wouldn't change anything about the bathroom at all as you can see they're kind of steep but they work great I'm um, to uh, 30 maybe on a good day, probably 240. And they've been holding up for three years. Well, I do have a tiny house, but I don't like tiny beds. So we got a California King up here, about the biggest bed you can buy. Uh, I think that the loft is half, which would be eight by 12. Um, so plenty of room, whatever you need up here. Bed, little nightstand, little fan. I do have a little TV there, because I like to watch the news when I go to bed. but. Uh, I would like it to be taller where I could stand up, but I've never hit my head. You just crawl around up here. I love the bedroom. Again, the pine is so nice up here when you're laying in bed. It's just everything is pine and I love it and my wife loves it. So yeah. So at first we just had just the tiny house. We didn't have the porch on here and I found that we kept bringing dirt and mud inside. So we uh, built this little six foot by the width 12. Um, deck and obviously put this clear sun tough up and I would never have a deck in Alaska or anywhere that did not have clear roofing for now on because oftentimes the temperature is fine but it's raining and so I will sit out here when it's pouring rain and it's beautiful uh, so gives lets all the light in obviously doesn't let the, the rain in so yeah we love the porch love hanging out out here Definitely would never have a tiny house without a porch on it. <laughs> I love just getting into gardening this year. So we put some uh, flower beds in down at the main house and then we just have our little hanging plants. We got some mint here. Hopefully in another couple weeks I can pick some mint to put in the tea when I make some sun tea. And uh, yeah, we just put a little table out here last year so that we could enjoy dinner and a glass of wine in the evening. Ended up putting stairs on both sides because people kept parking on uh, either side. Uh, and so we just put a stairwell on each side. So that we can make it up obviously got a barbecue here for the summertime um, and we got a couple extra 
little tree trimmings from uh, the yard so we have a little bonfire at night sometimes when we're enjoying our wine and you can see the outside is just the T111 um, and then metal roofing on the top and the metal roofing is all used it was light blue and green and brown all different colors so I just sprayed that with the uh, rust-oleum from Lowe's there the rust-oleum paint uh, I think it took a gallon and a half to do the roof but to make it all look nice and then just T111 with uh, paint to match the house we really like the paint color of our house blue and white so yeah I wouldn't change anything about out here as you can see, there's an orca on the top here. My wife uh, and I decided that there was a big space up there that needed to be filled. So she cut it out with a jigsaw and painted it. Uh, and that's what she loves doing is painting. So as I mentioned, she has uh, her Instagram is nautical chart and she does all sorts of wildlife paintings like that. So she loved putting an orca up there. And then we actually put a, a humpback whale on our, on our main house. So just something to do on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> A lot of people like it a lot. I think it adds a lot to the front of the house. Every time I'm in it, I'm proud of it. And I just see our work, our work that we put into it and stuff. So uh, I plan on living tiny indefinitely. We love sharing our house with other people in the summer. And as long as the market's good, then we'll probably live tiny every summer. Uh, I mentioned that we're outside of Seward, Alaska. And for anybody seeing that that's not in Alaska or hasn't been to Alaska, I would highly recommend coming to visit. And I do work for major marine tours here in Seward. We do uh, glacier and wildlife trips, which are amazing. If you haven't done one, you need to do one. We've got all sorts of trips to go to the glaciers and see the whales. So all that's on majormarine.com. If you ever do come to Seward and want to stay in, in our tiny house, we can make that work too for nightly rentals. Uh, and you can just find that on VRBO. I think it's called Cherrywood Lane Getaway, I think is what we call our, our nightly rental. So, but uh, yeah, please come to Alaska and come visit what we have to, to offer up here and uh, enjoy living tiny.